There are thousands of yachts in the world, but only a few of them qualify to be called super yachts. While the basic structure may be the same, these vessels have varying dimensions and customizations, depending on the manufacturers and the owners. Today, let's go on a journey to explore what we consider to be the most beautiful super yacht in the world, the Eclipse. Eclipse moves grandly through the water as she navigates her way to the dock for a rest. This is not the phenomenon where the moon stands in between the sun and the earth, casting a dark shadow over the world. Rather, it is a super yacht, whose beauty overshadows that of other similar vessels that have been created before. Her graceful movement on the water is like she knows she's the fairest of them all. This super yacht is 162.5 meters long and can attain speeds of almost 41 kilometers per hour. Its grandeur and beauty are not too surprising, considering the fact that it was under construction for half a decade by renowned German yacht builders, Lohmann Voss. Record for over a century now, since they began in 1877, they have made some of the best yachts that grace docks all over the world today. The Eclipse is no exception. It was designed by Terry Disdale, the man who first visualized the dream to build the best yacht the world had seen and put the first draft on paper. For four and a half years, almost two decades a dozen engineers worked to bring the idea to life and build what is known today as the second largest yacht in the world and considered the most beautiful even over a decade after it was first launched. You would probably expect that Disdale designed the yacht with the intention to have it beat the record of the largest yacht in the world, but this was not his intention at all, even though it achieved this feat at the time it was launched. What the skilled designer had in mind was to build a yacht that could accommodate such a large structure and the unassuming potential of the first helipad. The first helipad was designed with the intention to be where the yachts were. It had four helipads in such a way that they would be structurally sound and still aesthetically balanced with or without the helicopters on board. The Eclipse was designed to take three helicopters and a very big swimming pool. This formed one of the core guidelines by which its structure was fashioned and the major reason for the length. The engineers also set out to include large windows and low bulwarks. For the interior view of the yacht, the main structure had to be pushed backward to make room for the first helipad. They had noticed that the structure could be pushed backwards, keeping the helipad at the front. In many super yachts with helipads, there always seemed to be some sort of imbalance when the helicopter was parked, or the sense of something missing when it was not parked. So they ensured that the foredeck was built to accommodate a helipad and still blend well with the rest of the superstructure. Another important feature of the vessel was that, according to the International Convention for the Safety of Life at Sea, SALAS, it had to have two lifeboats. Now this meant the shear line had to be designed to accommodate them without affecting the overall flow of the design. The shear line was built from the bow and made to run straight until the middle of the ship, where it was raised higher to create a high freeboard. This way, the boats could sit well without looking out of place. Also, in alliance with Salas, the materials used in the interior had to be fireproof materials. Stone, shell, mosaic, bronze metal panels, and fossilized wood were used. The interior hull of the ship was made of steel. The interior end of the pool ushers you to the site of a 15 meter long pool, which is a major reason for the lengthy dimensions of the superyacht. It is one of the major attractions of this massive yacht and provides such a captivating ambience that makes you want to stay around the pool as much as you want to swim in it. There's a retractable glass roof as well as a 3.2 meter overhead. Not only can you swim in the pool, sit around it, and walk around it, but you can also dance on it. We've seen pool covers, even though they're not the same as the ones on the ship. We've seen the retractable types that slide over to cover the surface. However, the Eclipse brings a completely different angle to this. The blue granite bottom is not only the base. It also rises to cover the surface of the pool. When it is fully raised, it can be converted to a dancing floor. It can also be lowered a little below the floor surface to allow some water on the surface and create a paddling pool. Beyond two helipads, a storage hangar, and a swimming pool. What else can be found on this mega yacht? Well, while the inside of the yacht has been kept private to a large extent, we do know that Eclipse boasts many more captivating features. There is a beach club, and even a pizza oven and barbecue that are concealed inside gullwing doors, from which they can then be pulled out. With a disco, hair salon, cinema, and restaurant, this yacht has practically everything you'll need for a comfortable stay. Yet, this is not all. One side of the yacht has a large bathing platform, with staircases that can fold the yacht. On the lower deck, there is a 77 square meter gym, spa area, massage room, shower area, 
plunge pool, and sauna. The yacht houses 18 guest suites, each carefully designed and decorated to give a relaxed and calming feel. 36 guests can enjoy the yacht comfortably, and almost 100 crew members are needed for the full running of the vessel. The master suite has bulletproof glass and armor plates to ensure the safety of those on board. For a $700 million yacht, its rental rates can only be afforded by the wealthy, and it is reported that its owner, Roman Abramovich, charges clients almost $200,000 per day to use the beautiful Eclipse. Now, that's a lot of money, but this also means that security must be top-notch and never be taken for granted. Eclipse has a German-built missile defense system ready to be deployed in the event of danger. It is even rumored that there is a laser system to ward away paparazzi who may attempt to take pictures of the guests on board. The color scheme used includes gray, brown, beige, black, and silver. In each lobby on the nine decks of the Eclipse, artworks from different artists grace the walls. Each one is specially custom made to influence the mood and ambience of the guests. The Eclipse is a great place to be. It's a great place to be a brashance of each deck. They also serve as markers so you don't get lost in the massive yacht. Starting from the top, the first deck houses the helipads and helicopters, as well as the garage, while the second deck has a large swimming pool and sun deck. On the next three decks are the plunge pool, salon, dining hall, open deck, and atrium. Just below these, the lower decks are occupied by luxurious suites, a submarine dock, an engine room, and a disco club. It gets even better. On board is a mini submersible that can dive into the waters to depths up to 45 meters. It can take two people at a time on a trip to see the wonders underwater. The owner should have special features in their yacht, right? Well, they definitely do. The owner's deck is 56 meters long and has enough room to cater to the almost 100 crew members. If the guests ever get tired of staying indoors, they can spend a night on the upper deck to get some fresh breeze and simply gaze at the star's bars. This is made possible by a wood-burning fire pit to provide warmth all night long. When you see a super vessel like this that was able to conveniently meet the standards of aesthetics, practicality, and safety, it stirs up a wonder about how much work must have gone into it to make it possible. For a yacht that massive, a timeline running short of five years was an almost impossible task. Yet over 20 engineers and many other craftsmen worked diligently day and night to ensure that both the interior and exterior of the yacht were in good condition. The exterior of the vessel was completed in record time. Disdale, speaking to Boat International about the immense pressure it faced when building Eclipse, said, It's a huge responsibility, building something of that magnitude, which is going to be under everyone's magnifying glass. It's not just doing a job. This thing is going to be scrutinized and analyzed by everyone. There's a responsibility to yourself as a designer. Running a cruise ship of this magnitude is no small feat, as it needs to be maintained and properly maintained. It's a job that's been properly docked all year long. It is believed that it costs its owner, Roman Abramovich, about $75 million a year to keep the Eclipse in good shape. With an estimated net worth of $8 billion, it seems that he is up to the task to take care of this beautiful work of art. Terry Disdale desired to build a yacht that would be timeless and stand true in spite of new advancements in design and technology. A super yacht that would still be considered beautiful. Even many years later, the Eclipse is still a great success. Even after 10 years after it was built, it appears that he did succeed. And his success is attributed to one fundamental ideology, restraining from following every design trend or in vogue patterns. 10 years later, the Eclipse, now in the possession of Abramovich, has retained its beauty and still stands in a class of its own, even amidst the many super yachts that have been built after it was launched. What do you think? Is this truly the most beautiful yacht in the world? Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, remember to give it a thumbs up and smash the subscribe button so you get notified as soon as a new video drops.